I just about shit myself, I'll be completely honest. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. I found a really weird commercial uh, that was airing on TV in the Philippines, and I basically had to talk about it. I'm not sure what this commercial is selling. It's like a commercial for divorce-flavored milk, perhaps? Perhaps a commercial for marital unhappiness or something like that? It's, it's really a trip to see this on TV. I don't know, maybe things on TV are like this now and I just missed the memo or something like that. That's completely possible as well. Uh, so first things first, I'm gonna just roll the clip by itself and try not to make any comment about it. And then uh, after that, I'll go ahead and get into the breakdown and things like that. And hopefully, hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy. Let me know if this is like totally weird to you or not because I'm not sure where <laughs> where to put this on my radar of like what the hell is happening in the world so here we go three two one bam <laughs> this bitch is a savage dude <laughs> oh nestle nestle selling you marital and happiness since 19 whatever the fuck <sighs> oh my god <laughs> You can only imagine how much my 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 initial reaction seeing this commercial was just so over the top. Like, I'm not even sure where to put this on the radar. So let's let's walk through it a step at a time and see what we might see in this in this extremely weird commercial. Honestly, the that's the part you wanted to see is that bitch being a savage. But there is so much subtext. To this commercial that I, I just can't help it. I gotta I gotta go a little bit deeper, you know, Inception style. Boom. So here we go. Roll it again. And here's the mom. She's standing around in the office, and then she gets a text, little iPhone. Ooh. She goes, Oh, who's that? It's my son. Good thing my phone was in my hand. Wow, you're wor you're working real hard there, aren't you, mom? <laughs> so uh, yeah. She says, I miss you too, kiddo. Oh, and a crying face. That's so sad. That's relatable, right? We've all sent a crying face emoji. I think I'm gonna go buy some Nestle. And then she says, wash hands after, please. Because, you know, he's playing outside uh, with his dinosaurs, as boys are wont to do. And mom doesn't understand that, man. It, the kid just wants to get dirty. He wants to be a boy. He's gonna roll in the mud, you know? And dad's like, all right, man, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So he's having a good time, and um, you know, mom's mom's just trying to trying to work, but also you know, killing the fun just a little bit. So Noah's uh, sending some more texts. He's like, "Look, I'm playing guitar and stuff like that." He's got no shirt on. He looks like a fucking animal. And then he's got some face paint. He's like eating a little Stegosaurus or something because he's he's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And then finally, the last picture is like him eating cotton candy for dinner. Which, <laughs> you can see his shirt is just a fucking mess. Obviously, Dad does not really uh, know how to wrangle this kid or teach him not to slop spaghetti onto his shoulders. Which, he's old enough, damn it. He, he should be old enough to, like, you know, keep himself clean while eating. But apparently not because he loves playing with cotton candy and spaghetti. And by the way, cotton candy and spaghetti, that's really weird. You're gonna have a super stringy poop. <laughs> Yeah, spaghetti strings, cotton candy strings. All right, maybe I'm reaching for that one. But she sees these pictures, and she just gives this deep sigh. <sighs> the shit I gotta deal with. <laughs> this motherfucker. I gotta leave my kids with him while I work, and he don't do shit. Making my kid dress up like a Tyrannosaurus Rex and eat a bunch of spaghetti? I better get in this taxi. I better head home right now. And then here's the dad playing with the kid. See, he looks so happy. He's like... Oh, we're having a good time together, aren't we, boy? And then all of a sudden, doorbell rings, and he's like, fun's over. You see that fucking look on his face? Just the shift from there. Like, excited to like, oh, fuck. <laughs> you might as well start playing the, the Star Wars Imperial March. And he opens the door and sees fucking Darth Vader standing there. Da, 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 so long, can I come in? 
And the little boy's like, Mommy, I've missed you so much. And the mom's just like, Get on my face, fucker. There's my kid. Like, she doesn't even say hi to him or anything. <laughs> it's just, just, that's terrible. That's terrible. At least be fucking cordial, you know? He's watching your kid for the weekend so you can work in the office on a Saturday, working so hard standing between those cubicles. And then, uh, you know, the kid runs over and they embrace, and the father's just kind of standing up in the corner over there looking fucking dejected. Now, look at this guy's apartment. You know what I mean? There's a fucking bicycle hanging on the wall, there's a big shelf with God fucking knows what on it, you know? This is a, <laughs> this is a bachelor's apartment. Okay, this woman tore the son away from the father and absolutely destroyed his life. He can hardly keep his apartment clean at this point. He's just absolutely given up without a doubt. You know, he, he does good for his kids. You know, he wasn't working because it's Saturday. It's his day off, but the kids got on some Adidas shoes. You know, he's paying for an apartment by himself. That's why he gets vegetation, stuff like that. Is it is it 50-50 vegetation? Is it not? Who really knows? You know what I mean? But there's a, a cereal bowl sitting on the, the the coffee table there, you know? This guy can can barely keep it together, which is said a lot in the media, which is portrayed a lot in the media, you know? It's just like, oh, look at this oafish, oafish dad can't do anything for himself. It's like, well, okay, as dads, we do things a little bit differently. We do things a little more sloppily, but in the end, things do get done. You know what I mean? So, the kid's happy. Isn't that the most important thing? Who really gives a shit how his apartment looks? I guess I do, because I was the one that sat here and pointed it out, tried to go a little bit deeper into the commercial. But, we'll shift to the next scene. You see his kitchen. His kitchen looks pretty clean. There's not like a bunch of dishes and shit laying everywhere. He does have that uh, stationary bicycle in the background. <laughs> and it has a bicycle helmet on it. <laughs> I better put on my bicycle helmet for my stationary bicycle oh my god dude that's hilarious that's that i didn't even notice that until i was watching it just now but right in the forefront we have uh nestle nido which is not a sponsor of this video but they have provided me with some some wonderful laughs so dad is gonna hand mom this this cup and all of a sudden it magically fills with milk which is really really cool and then um mom's like here I gave this to you. Remember that I gave it to you and not your worthless father. And then she, she's like, okay, how's your day? And the kid's like, we had fun. And he's like acting like a dinosaur and stuff like that. And she's like, okay, yeah, whatever. I didn't actually want to know. Just drink your fucking milk. And so we get the little close-up on the box there as the kid downs it. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Both hands because apparently, you know, his hand-eye coordination sucks. Cut away. Kid's like, I drank it all. Check it out, guys. And everybody's so proud of him. And the dad says, Okay, now what do you say? And the kid's like, Thank you, Mommy. And the dad kind of looks over like, Huh? I'm, I'm teaching the kid some fucking manners, right? Look at that, bitch. <laughs> the look on his face kills me. There's like so much unspoken tension between these two that... I mean, they're just actors, but they did a really good job, you know what I mean? I really like the cuts that they, they picked for this. So the mom's all happy, she's like, yeah, you do say thank you to me for the milk that your dad bought. <laughs> and they kind of make eye contact with each other, and she's like, walking him to the door now. And the kid's like, okay, now what do you say, mommy? And <laughs> shit, she just gives like the bitchiest look. She's like, thank you, asshole. <laughs> I can't believe that my son would make me say thank you to you, the person who helped to create him. <laughs> and uh, you could you could tell she's just had enough of this dude's shit. Like, I don't know what happened in their marriage or whatever, but Nestle Nito is is not gonna be enough to fix it. <laughs> so after her uh, extremely catty shit, he still has like this look of look of maybe it'll happen on his face he's like oh you're welcome and then the kid puts their hands together he's like come on you guys i don't want to have two christmases anymore <laughs> and then uh the mom just gets this disgusted look the dad's looking like kind of like okay maybe this could happen and the mom looks just fucking disgusted and she's like let's go <laughs> 
And she just grabs the kid, <laughs> snatches the kid, and walks him out the door. <laughs> and the dad looks like, what the fuck just happened? <sighs> oh, God. He gives a little smile at the end there. <clears throat> Probably just because, you know, he doesn't want to cry in front of the kid. But then the kid's like, bye, daddy. And the fucking Nestle logo comes up, peels the dad out completely out of the picture and the mom and the son embrace and it's like Nestle Nito <laughs> it's just so over the top dude I can't even I can't even words every time I watch this commercial I see something different in it there's like so much subtext to it it's just it's just amazing I should probably watch more commercials with a critical eye it's like I don't really watch TV that much anymore so yeah it's it's hard to uh to see it the same way that I used to. I used to just watch it and be like, eh, commercial, whatever. Now I actually watch the commercial and I see what they're trying to portray. This is this is about, uh, you know, tearing apart happy families. <laughs> I guess if you're... How can I say this? This is the type of commercial that just normalizes broken marriages and single single parent households, you know what I mean? Which I think is really, really unhealthy for society as a whole, you know? Is it funny as shit? Yeah, I can't deny that at all. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious to me. But uh, it's it's a really sad situation to watch. Mostly, most of my laughter comes from the fact that it's, it's really fucking depressing, and if you don't laugh at it extremely hard, then it's just gonna drive you nuts, you know what I mean? So, definitely I don't know what <laughs> Nestle was going for here. They are like a huge corporation. They probably did their marketing research and stuff like that. But um, it didn't work for me. You know what I mean? I'm happily married. I got a couple kiddos running around. If if we ended up, God forbid, getting divorced, then I would probably hang myself in a closet. I'll be completely honest. I'll just be like, it's fucking over for me. I don't give a shit anymore. This guy, he's still trying to carry on. But, you know, the, the wife still treats him like shit, you know? He's, he's trying. He's trying his damnedest. Helping you out with the kids and stuff like that and, you know, not being an absentee father, which that's probably another Nestle commercial. I guess if I I dig a little deeper, I could find the, the absentee father, single mother <laughs> Nestle commercial. <laughs> oh my god. It's so funny to me. I don't know why it's so funny to me, but I definitely had to put this out there. I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Um... Let me know what you think of this commercial. Let me know if you want to see some more things like this. I could do like a little commercial type series. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't look so much at the editing in this commercial this time, like with the zoom in, zoom outs, except for that one framing shot where the mom and the child are hugging and the dad's kind of like looking dejected in the corner. You know what I mean? So there's, there's so much more that I could dig into on this commercial, but uh, I'll save it for another video, I suppose. This one's getting up there in time. But uh, if you did enjoy, please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Those all shout in my ear, Hey, Dayton, we want to see more of this. And I would be glad to provide that for you guys. We've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. Big thanks to MMX Akira, my very first Patreon supporter. Absolutely massive. You know what I mean? I, I was super excited to get that email. I just about shit myself. I'll be completely honest. So you can see huge smile on my face. Thank you so much, MMX Akira. Uh, I will see you guys again for the uh, Sunday vlogs. There's been a lot of stuff going on this week, so I hope that you'll join me for that. Thank you once again for watching, friends, especially if you've watched this far. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been a divorce-flavored milk commercial. I shall see you in the next one, friends. And until then, Bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.